The Westord project is one of a kind. It's a domestic uranium and critical minerals project with significant growth potential. There are many roads and drill pads all over the property, so we could access each of the drill hole caps, open them up, and send modern instrumentation down hole to get confirmation readings. In 1968, Bighorn Mining Company hired two independent geologists to take samples along an area that measured 1,700 feet long and 300 feet wide. The chemical analysis averaged 0.2%. Surface sampling came back positive, so in the fall of 1968, a drilling program commenced. 45 holes were drilled. The first hole drilled surprised everyone. Diamond drill core hole number one had some fascinating results. Over 20 feet averaged 1.9% U308, with the highest reading being 10.5%. Of the 4,000 feet drilled, 250 feet averaged 0.15% U308 radiometric. The U308 is contained in quartz monzonite and pigmentite, which have been intruded into intensely metamorphosed sediments. In the mid-1970s, a radiometric survey was performed. Grid lines were spaced 50 feet apart and readings were recorded on 25 foot and 50 foot spacings using an SPP2 type scintillation counter placed on the ground. Targets were marked, roads were cut, drill pads were built, and 18 holes were drilled for a total of 10,000 feet with hole OM13 being the deepest drill hole at 1,035 feet. The highest readings of U308 were primarily contained in the Alaskite. Mining geologist Gene Sidler stated, I have not been swayed one iota from my previously acquired optimism that this immediate area will eventually become the center of a new United States uranium district. I compare the potential of the West Ord area to the Bancroft, Rossing, and Midnight Mine models. Framco completed the most extensive exploration campaign for uranium to date, and the results of their drilling are the basis for geologic modeling below surface. Tamarack has mapped and sampled the Uranium Hill area to verify the extent of radioactive units and has also compiled sundown exploration data into a geologic model to be used for ongoing exploration work. To convert this mineral occurrence to a mineral resource, a confirmation drilling program would need to be executed with the standard of care necessary to achieve a 43101 compliant resource. Confirmation drilling would serve to verify Alaskaite location, orientation and volumes, de-risk grade variability, and verify bulk tonnage with ongoing specific gravity measurements. Both confirmation drilling and exploration drilling can be done from existing drill pads. Tamarack has proposed a 1,580 meter drill plan designed to convert mineral occurrences at Uranium Hill to a mineral resource. There are at least two interpreted orientations of Alaskite units at Uranium Hill. Upper units dip gently toward the east, and deeper units dip gently toward the west. The intersection of these two trends is a highly prospective target area. Near Barstow, California and the Mojave Desert region, some of the oldest rocks in the state are found here, dating to 1.7 billion years ago when a metamorphic event occurred imposed a regional metamorphic fabric. After the metamorphic event, there were at least two intrusive events, including one at 1.4 billion years ago, which formed carbonatite and other alkaline plutonic rocks. Shallow marine sediments were deposited in late Precambrian Paleozoic and by the late Triassic into the Cenozoic. The magmatic arc emplaced plutonic and volcanic rocks in the region. Uplift in the west during the late Cenozoic created many depositional basins which accumulated lake sediments, some volcanic rocks, and evaporite deposits. 
Concentrations of light and heavy rare earth elements have been found throughout the property, with grades up to 1.66%. Recent exploration has identified an outcrop that strikes for over 1,100 feet with occurrences of rare earth elements throughout a width of 20 feet. The Westord project is a one-of-a-kind project. It is a domestic uranium project with significant growth potential. 18 reverse circulation holes delineate multiple showings with potential to expand. Preliminary model indicates up to 9.8 million tons of radioactive alaskite. 20 to 30 million tons are possible with the next successful drilling campaign. To learn more, email us at info at sundownresources.com or info at mineoperator.com. Thank you for watching.